Good evening, everybody. Um, Claudia, um, I was sitting there thinking, my gosh, I hope somebody's between me, uh, between the governor and, and me. And I am, uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a, a leap here and believe that all of you are a little hopeful right now. I like what the governor says. It gives me hope. I like, uh, more importantly, what I believe he will do. I like, in particular, because you know, I've told you all before, I'm just a budget guy. That's all I am. Uh, I like how he spends money. <laughs> Because we all know, we all know that budgets, and the only reason I got into that gig um, was because I believe very much that uh, the power of the purse is really about the power of reflecting our values. And um, I believe, and I have seen already with his uh, uh, his budget and the money that is already put aside uh, for rates um, that um, he's going to do a lot of good and we're going to do a lot of good together. You all been advocating for years, years. I feel like I came sort of late to the, the dance, but I'm, but I'm here. And I've been helping out a little bit as I can over the last couple of years. But I'm grateful um, because uh, for so many years, as we all know, nobody wanted to talk about this. No one wanted to talk about these issues. Uh, you know, it, and it, it's, it's a fascinating moment right now. The moment is um, folks want to talk about it. That every uh, legislator wants to talk about it. Every legislator wants to be on the legislation that has to do with behavioral health. And that's a great thing. And you know what? We've got to take advantage of this moment. And we will. I know we will with everyone in this room and the legislature primed and ready to go and the governor leading the way. Um, we have an opportunity to make a difference it was inconceivable even just a few years ago. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful and I'm grateful. There's some good things happening. Um, I'm going to let uh, one of my good Senate friends talk a little bit more and brag about his bill. But um, the very first bill, and we made it a priority and determined priority to make it the first bill that we passed out of the Senate this year was the funding for 988. It had to be in my mind. It had to be to set the tone uh, for the session. Um, this is uh, a great opportunity. It came out of my committee. It came out unanimous. It was supported unanimous on the floor um, because people finally get it. They finally get the need. And they finally understand also, and this is sort of, I think, the theme of as we move forward, is there's not one simple answer for everything, right? There are component parts. There's a system that we have to continue to build on. You've all been part of it. You've been doing the good work. But we need to give more tools and more ability to accomplish what we need to do. And that's what I'm excited about because everyone's thinking about these issues. You're going to hear from other legislators a lot smarter than me who are really thinking about this stuff on a daily basis. Like I said, I'm just a budget guy. I'm just going to figure out how to pay for it all. Um, I am happy, and I saw that you have a panel discussion coming up um, right after uh, the legislators uh, speak um, on the CCBHC. Uh, I have a heck of a time with that acronym. I don't know about you all. But it's important. It's a great tool. It's an opportunity to give access to everyone, everyone. Um, I'm really looking forward to passing that bill. We had a great hearing in the Finance Committee 
uh, yesterday, day before. Um, and um, I believe that it's going to be successful and we're going to start seeing them pop up. I know we've got some already in the expansion program that the five of them out there are already operating. We've seen what they can do. We've seen what they can do in terms of reducing ER rates, in terms of reducing costs to Medicaid, all around. This is the smart stuff we should be doing. 23 other states doing it, 450 of these centers across the country. We need to do more of them. We need to get them in every community. It may not be overnight, but we need to get there, and I think we can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down real quick here now, but I, I just want to say again how thankful I am for everybody who, when things weren't so easy to talk about, all of you for who things weren't so easy to talk about for years fought the good fight. I won't ever forget that. I won't forget you. Uh, and, you know, I, I've said many times I could never do your jobs. I can't. just couldn't. It's not in me. But I knew my job. My job as a budget guy, my job as a legislator, we're going to make a difference together. And I'm very grateful to be in this this battle, this, this effort together. So thank you all very much.